Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So this is gonna be a very short video and the reason why it's gonna be a short video because this is a question that somebody asked me and they asked me, Dilmer, should I be using the free version of Unity? Should I be using the Plus version of Unity? Or should I be using the professional version of Unity when, you know, this person is actually starting out, they haven't ever built a game. So I'm gonna tell you what I did over the last five years and then hopefully that can help you decide what, where you wanna be. And I'm gonna tell you what's available on each version so that you understand you know, what advantages and disadvantages are between these versions. So when I started making games about five years ago, I was using Unity Free. And at the time I didn't really have a brand, I didn't have a company built. So Unity Free worked well for me. I remember, you know, five years ago, the post-processing effects weren't available in, in Unity Free, and they were only available on Unity Professional. And, and that was something that really bugged me because I really wanted to use, you know, some of the post-processing effects because it added a lot of detail to my games. So nowadays, and then I think it was after two years, I started using Unity Pro. And, and then at, right after that, when Unity Plus released, I downgraded to Unity Plus, and I'll tell you what I downgraded. So one of the reasons why I wanted Unity Professional or Unity or Unity Plus is because I wanted the post-processing effects. So when Unity Professional came out with post-processing effects, then you know I really I actually upgraded to that version because of that. But then right after a few years and few months, Unity released the post-processing effects in, Git, in GitHub, and they were actually free, so anybody could use them on the free version. So I didn't really want to downgrade to Unity Free because I wanted, I also wanted a custom a splash screen. I, by the time I already built a brand, I registered my brand. So I didn't really want the Unity splash screen to show up on the Unity Free version. So I, de I decided to go with Unity Plus and downgrade it to that version. I could customize, you know, put my logo in the splash screen. I also had the dark mode, which I love about, you know, Unity Plus and Unity Pro. So if you're, you know, if you're thinking about making a game right now and you really haven't built a brand for yourself, I'm not saying that you shouldn't use Unity Plus or, or Unity Pro. What I'm saying is you start with Unity Free because Unity Free has a lot of potential. They have a lot of features that are available out of the box. Also, there's different type of caps that you have on each version. So if you're using Unity Free, you can only make no more. If you make more than $100,000 a year, then you need to upgrade to Unity Plus. And if you make more than you know $100,000 a year and $250,000 a year, then you're gonna stay between you know using Unity Plus. But anything beyond $250,000 a year, you're gonna have to upgrade to Unity Professional. So I think if you're starting out using Unity Free works well. And if you you know if you have the budget and and you know you want to upgrade to Unity Plus then pay, I think it's from 25 to $35 a month. And, and that's what I've been doing for the last few years is using Unity Plus. And some of my team members are using Unity Free. And that's actually worked well because I really don't have, there's no need for them to have Unity, Unity Plus or Unity Professional because I'm the one that is packaging the games and then sending those games to the platforms. So if you have any more questions about this video or any of the things that I mentioned about the different versions, let me know through the comments and I'll be happy to basically direct you to the right information or provide you with the right information. And don't forget to share this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys.